We've got the Paradigm Monitor SE 8000F tower speakers. We review it, you win it. That's what we're gonna be talking about in today's video. Hey folks, I'm Gene Delisello with Audioholics. I'm happy to announce that we've got these Paradigm Towers here, the Monitor 8000F. We're gonna be giving these away to one lucky winner on Audioholics, so stay tuned for the announcement on that. But in the meantime, I figured I might as well review these, let you guys know what my opinion is. These are a quite a large tower speaker. They retail for $849 each. Sometimes they're on sale for a little less. I've seen them as low as $637 each, so you always take a look out for that. And let me tell you something, Paradigm has different levels of speakers. These are their monitor series. Of course, we reviewed the Premier series, the 800Fs. We have James Larson's written review. I did a video on them. I love those speakers. They were in this very room. We spent a lot of time listening to those speakers. And then you've got the Founder series, which we've also reviewed and loved, and the Persona series. So they've got quite a range of product, depending on your budget, depending on what kind of performance you're looking for. These are kind of the more high value, more in your face, hit hard kind of speaker. It kind of reminds me of going on a ride at Disney. There's a lot of adrenaline in a speaker like this. These speakers, uh, they target the Klipsch buyer, the Polk buyer, and back in the day when you had Sirwin Vega because they had lots of bass, lots of output. Now these are a little bit more refined than some of the brands that I was talking about before. Let me tell you a little bit about the driver technology that's in here. It's a five driver, three way tower, ported tower. The ports are on the rear. Let's start with the tweeter. This is a one inch aluminum dome tweeter. It's in a waveguide. This helps extend the low frequency sensitivity so they could cross it over a little bit lower. It also gives you a little bit more output as a result, more uh, efficiency. And it's got the perforated PPA lens. And what that does is it's like a glorified phase plug. It basically reduces on-axis beaming by canceling out out-of-phase frequencies. You've seen this technology before in the Premiere series and the, the Persona series. We've written about it before. Then we've got this mid-range. It's a six and a half inch mid-range. It's a polycone mid-range. It's in its own enclosure. It doesn't have this cheap little plastic cup that you see on budget speakers. It's actually in its own wooden enclosure with lots of Dacron insulation, so it's well insulated. Then we've got three eight inch polypropylene woofers, triple woofers, lots of surface area. That's why the speaker has so much bass. I opened these up, I took a look. Quite a substantial motor structure on these woofers. They have a nice big magnet. They do have a stamped steel basket, not quite as thick as I'd like to see, but you gotta realize with a budget speaker, there's gonna be some compromises. The mid-range actually has its own venting under the spider, which I was surprised to see. That just handles gives it better power handling, more cooling. And the tweeter has a neodymium magnet. Now most budget neodymium magnet tweeters, they thermally compress at high volume. Paradigm addressed that here by putting a big heat sink on the back of it. I was very happy to see that. So overall, pretty good drive technology. If we turn the speaker around, you see the double ports. These look to be about three inch wide ports. They're flared to reduce turbulence. The speaker itself is single pair of binding posts, so you can buy amp or buy wire these speakers, which is fine in this kind of price range. And I wanna to talk to you a little bit about the cabinet construction. So that's where the corners are cut. They're only half inch thick cabinets, including the front baffle. Personally, I like to see a little bit thicker of a front baffle just to give more rigidity, but it is pretty well braced from what I saw on the inside. I wanna give you a little comparison of this speaker versus the Premier 800F in case you guys were wondering. Let me go over some of the specs with you. And you guys know I've reviewed the Premier 800Fs before. They are a little bit more of an expensive speaker. They're smaller. They retail for $1,199 each as opposed to the Monitor SE8000Fs for $849 each. They both use a similar one inch XPAL dome PPA lens tweeter. Now the 800Fs use a six and a half inch mid-range, a polycarbonate mid-range, and only two six and a half inch polycarbonate bass drivers with the art wedge surround. Both speakers are bass reflex. The 800F has one single port in the back. The 8000F has two rear ports. Interestingly enough, the 800F 
um, the frequency response is from 43 hertz to 25 kilohertz plus or minus 3 dB as opposed to the 8000F, which is reported at 45 hertz to 21 kilohertz plus or minus 3 dB. Sensitivity, the 800F is a little less sensitive. They rated at 92 dB in room, 89 dB anechoic, whereas the 8000F is 95 dB in room, 92 dB anechoic. The 800F handles up to 180 watts continuous, whereas the 8000F, 150 watts. They both claim they're 8 ohm com com compatible, but in reality, they're really 4 ohm speakers. The 800F is a more compact cabinet. It goes about 41 inches tall, 9 inches wide, 13 inches deep, as opposed to the 8000s, which are 45 by 11 by 17. And the 8000F weighs 69 pounds, as opposed to 53 pounds of the 800F. The 800F, the Premier 800F, is available in three finishes, gloss black, gloss white, espresso green, whereas the 8000F are in matte black or gloss white. Now, on specs, you would think that this speaker doesn't have as much bass as the 800Fs, but in reality, as you guys could see in my measurements, I got about 10 hertz more in-room extension. I've got usable bass on these towers down to like 30, 31 hertz, as opposed to the 800Fs, which are around 40, 41 hertz. So there's definitely more bass. I could hear that the, there's much more depth in the speaker than the 800Fs. You don't need a subwoofer with a speaker like this. If you're setting up a system, whether it's two channel or you want to set up a home theater system and you don't yet have a budget for a subwoofer, rest assured you're getting a lot of bass out of these speakers. These are party speakers, but they're also refined enough to enjoy different kinds of music genres. So just to give you a little, um, a little subjective listening test, I listen to these speakers on the incredibly really good Denon integrated amplifier, the A110 with the A110 SACD player. I listened to them on the Yamaha RXA 6A AV receiver, another very capable amp section. Both amplifiers were able to deliver well over 100 watts of channel continuous. And these speakers took that power without complaints. They never bottomed out. They produced excellent bass results. The mid-range is a little bit forward. The treble is a little bit bright, but you know what? Uh, if you look at my measurements, when I did a, a measurement in room, I couldn't measure these outside. So I, what I did was a spatial average at one meter. And I saw a little bit of a bump at around four kilohertz when you're below the tweeter axis. And I believe this has to do with maybe the crossover didn't take all the fil didn't filter out all the energy of the mid range. It could have been a little bit perfected there, but it's nothing really to worry about. Um, in fact, when I measured these speakers in the listening area, at the height I was listening at, they were very linear and flat. I didn't see that rise in frequency response at four kilohertz. And I did measure the sensitivity in room at about 92 dB. And I actually did that from 300 hertz to three kilohertz per IEC standard. So that's a real kind of an anechoic measurement. I, I basically got what Paradigm was specking on these speakers. So they do play louder with the same amount of power than you would get out of a Premier 800F. You can see the kind of sensitivity on these speakers is similar to what you would get with a Klipsch model within a dB or two um, of, in this price range. So these speakers can use amplifier power very efficiently and give you lots of sound in your room. And in fact, when I was doing some listening tests, I put on Marion Hill, this, uh, the track differently, and I was in the guest room of the Audioholic Smart House on the Denon A110 integrated amplifier, and I turned it up. And the next thing I know, I get a text from my wife saying, can you please turn that down? I hear so much bass. And this was upstairs when she was editing videos for me. She felt the bass in the other room. So these speakers do have a lot of tactile energy, a lot of slam, a lot of kick, a lot of depth. Love that for if you're looking for a speaker that's full range in this price range. And then I, I, I tried out some music that requires a little more delicate touch. I put on Patricia Barber, uh, Modern Cool. And I just enjoyed the instrumentation. I enjoyed the percussion sounds. Very clear, very dynamic sounds I got out of it. I also tried out another SA CD. You guys really should get this CD. SA CD is from Clara. And it's, uh, she basically does covers of famous songs. I put on the track Hello, which is an Adele song. And I got such great full body sound out of this track. The bass was really deep. Her voice was very articulate. 
a bit forward sounding, a bit of a bite to it, but it wasn't something that was annoying or fatiguing to me. I did find though, um, with this speaker, normally I tell you to leave the grills off on speakers. I actually preferred the sound of these speakers with the grills on. I felt like it took a little bit of the extra high frequencies toned it down just a little bit enough to my liking. And these are really nicely crafted grills. They're an MDF, they're very rigid. The frame itself is tight, the mesh around it is tight. And I just think they look cool with the grills on. They're kind of unassuming. These are not gonna win any beauty contest. They're just a big monolithic box. They're just meant to give you lots of output. And you could tell when you look at a speaker like this that these things are gonna give you you know, just that level of performance, that level of loudness. So I enjoyed my time I spent with these speakers. They were easy to drive, whether I was using a Yamaha receiver or the Denon integrated amp. I think they would do really well for someone that's getting started out with a two channel system that doesn't have the time or the budget to add a subwoofer. You certainly don't need that with these speakers. And overall, I would give a thumbs up to the speaker. If you're, if your musical tastes are more towards rock, more towards you know, R&B, rap. And if you like some jazz, I think they could still do t pretty well with that. But if you're really into the, the vocals and the articulation of things, you might want to look at the Premier 800Fs. Those are still one of my favorite speakers in that price class, but they do cost more than these and they don't have as much bass output as these. So it's really a trade-off on what you're looking for. You can't go wrong with either model. Paradigm makes really good speakers for the money and they just, to me, give you value that you don't necessarily get with some of the other brands, some of the technologies that they put in here, like that lens on the tweeter and the waveguide and stuff like that. As I said, we are gonna be giving this review pair away in the USA. We're gonna be putting up the details in the description link below. You will not be contacted by anyone in a text message on YouTube that you won this prize. That's a scam, ignore that. The only way you're gonna get contacted if you win this prize is via email from us, from an AudioHawks email address or a phone number. And you gotta register on our form in order to be eligible to win. And if you can't wait for the prize, you can't wait for the announcement, you could certainly buy these through the affiliate links from Audio Advice, they're our channel partner. Definitely recommend, we love working with those guys. So let me know what you think about these speakers. Are there any Paradigm 8000F owners that have these? Give us some comments down below. Are you considering the speaker? They do have a matching center channel. They've got some surround speakers. They have a whole lineup in the monitor series that are just, you know, really good value for what you're getting. Hope you like this video. Don't forget about our Patreon channel at patreon.com slash audiohawks. We appreciate your support. You get direct access to me if you want to suggest video topics or ask questions. And until next time, my friends, keep listening. We got the Paradigm Monitor. I also tried some other SACDs. I put on some, um, I'm trying to think of, hold on. And then if we turn the speaker around, you can see the triple, I'm sorry, the Clara. Okay, let's start that over again.